Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're at the long distance bay here at my range, about to do kind of like a longer distance stress shoot. But before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by Taser. You know, I'm sure they don't know, need any introduction. Everybody knows what Taser is. So if you need to give somebody the shock of their life, go check them out. Link is in the description. And big thank you to them for supporting this channel. Finish him! I'd also like to thank Global Ordnance for providing all the ammunition used in this video. All my brass cased and steel cased 762 by 39 Really good ammunition, haven't had any issues with it. About 800 rounds through it. So really good stuff, go check them out. And I'd also like to thank Gun Mag Warehouse for providing all my magazines. So all my 762 by 39 AK mags, all provided by Gun Mag Warehouse. And if so, if you need more magazines, which you probably do, go check them out. But with out of the way guys, let's get into this video. So the main issue I run into when trying to plan out these stress shoots is balancing, you know, if it's too hard or too easy, especially at these longer distance bays. I've had times here where I've been trying to test out different stress shoots where I made like the physical stress way too hard and I wasn't able to hit anything out there or the distances I was trying to hit were too long and this was too easy. But I finally figured out, I think, like the appropriate levels, amount of stress, as well as like distance and how, you know, balancing hard and easy to make this like a pretty good repeatable drill. So what we're gonna be doing today, guys, is essentially like a CrossFit workout. It's gonna be for 20 minutes, uh, 20 minute AMRAP, so as many rounds as possible. <laughs> Gay! At the buzzer, we're gonna start here, and I'm gonna be shooting from the prone from this elevated platform here. And the only reason I'm shooting from this versus on the ground is that due to the target we're gonna be shooting at, which is that 200 meter gong down there. Can you see that, Shelton? The first set of gongs right there. Yep. The center gong is what I'm going to be aiming at. You know, it's it's not huge, but it's not you know super small either. So it's like a medium-sized gong. That's what she said. But you know, at the buzzer, going to engage that gong three times from here at the prone, and then I'm going to move over here to the sled, which I have loaded up with four 45-pound plates. Um, I'm not really sure how much the sled weighs. I think it's about 45 pounds, so this should weigh about 225 pounds total. And I'm gonna drag that to the end of the bay and then run back here and repeat the same thing again. Shoot the uh, center gong there at 200 meters three times. You know, hit it three times so it's not just three shots. And then move over to the sled, drag it back here. And I'm gonna repeat that as many times as I can in 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna be judging this based off how many rounds I complete, just kind of like a CrossFit workout. And I really wanted to, you know, kind of use this as a repeatable test to do in the future with different types of guns and different types of kits and just see how different setups fare in this scenario. So I kind of wanted to create like a, uh, like a combat distance, you know, engagement where it's not just at 25 meters inside of a tactical bay and then also add some stress to it. So that's why I'm doing the sled drags, which this should get my heart up, heart rate up good enough. And then to make shooting that 200 meter gong, you know, a slight challenge. I've done this type of drill at further dis distances with different optics, but for the gun and setup I'm using right now, I think this is going to be fine. So I'm going to be using my PSA AK-104. Just got this gun, been shooting it for a few weeks now. Almost have about 1,000 rounds to it so far. And I'm going to be using the iron sights because I still haven't like completely pimped this gun out yet, which I plan to do in the future. But the only thing I've really done to it, you know, uh, I have a definitive arms fighter break on here and just changed out the pistol grip to this US palm grip. And for the sling, this is from White Tree Armory. They sent me this sling. Um, you know, good sling, I've been liking it so far. And as far as the kit that I'm gonna be running, is I'm gonna see how much, I just wanna burn as much ammo as I can. This is gonna be kind of, I, I venture to say this is gonna be sort of a high round count drill. So I got like a full combat load going on here and the chest rig that I'm running here is a ANA tactical uh, alpha rig. And you know, this is kind of one of me, has become one of my favorite like just throw on and go kind of rigs. It can take a bunch of different types of magazines. Run, I've run 545 mags out of here. I've even run AR-15 mags out of here. Even now, these pouches are kind of deep and they swallow AR-15 mags up. But if you put a little spacer at the bottom of them, 
um, it's not so much of an issue. And this is actually the kit that I'm going to be using at Milsom Weston here in a few weeks. And kind of just want to run it. That's why I have it rigged up for comms. I'm not using the comms out here. Um, you know, you know, it adds a little bit of a LARP to it, but um, yeah, I just set it up for Milsom West and I was too lazy to take out the radio and stuff like that. So then plus it's kind of cool to see how this kit's going to feel um, in this kind of stressful environment, even now this is not airsoft. In this pouch right here, I have some water and yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to be wearing this Gorka top um, because I think that if I was to wear this during this drill, I'd probably overheat and die. So I'm just going to wear my little hoodie on here, but you know, it's kind of cold right now and these things are awesome. So thank you to Gray Shop for sending this. But you know, guys, uh, I guess enough talk and you know, let's get into this drill. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Come on, come on, glove, come on. Need me to press. Army gloves are not good for touch screen. Need it. I, I got it. Hold on. There it goes. There it goes. You got it. tell this is gonna get spicy. <laughs> Quad pump is unreal. Slow down. <laughs> Do the basics. I should have the basic on this shit. Okay, there's the sun.
Dude, what's better? I saw the sun, it was blinding. <laughs> okay, that's four rounds so far. <sighs> Jesus. Sunglasses help with the sun, but the target's still like in the shade over there. Oh my god. My legs are on fire. You can barely see that thing. Oh my god. Those five rounds. Let's see if I can get the ten. I think I can. Aim small, miss small. Mostly miss small, probably. Aim small, miss small, baby! <laughs> Thank God I didn't wear that Gorka. <laughs> I'd, have a, I'd be getting the silver bullet right now. <laughs> I 
said that was gonna be. Random fun episode two. I honestly have lost count how many rounds I've got. I'm literally just aiming into where I think it is in the shadow. Dude, we're fighting against the sun god Ra right now. It's pretty metal if you think about it. It's pretty metal. <laughs> this, this is a video of this thing. Jesus Christ, where is it? How are you hitting that? Let's look what he's looking at. Dude, I, I'm look literally... Look outside. <laughs> right into the sun. <laughs> yeah. Now, sir. Fuck your false gods. They say not to look in the sun. Nick says otherwise. I don't need sunglasses. They make me weaker. The last little stretch, the legs feel like they're about to pop. Okay. I think I got enough time. <sighs> God damn it, use the force, Luke! Come on, where the fuck is it? Dude, I cannot hit that thing. I'll take it. That's blinding as shit. Get the clock too. Did I already time out? Time! God damn it, I'm gonna finish it off. No. <laughs> time! I failed! So how we do? <laughs> so that drill actually went out, went pretty good. I've tried doing these long distance stress shoots uh, before. Oftentimes have failed. They were way too hard, but you know, with the iron sights on this AK at 200 meters, it was a challenge in itself, let alone with the uh, sled drags, which blew up my quads. Like I have a gnarly quad pump right now. Um, felt like I just got done with a squat session, but the biggest challenge was the sun. That's a, the, the sun god Ra is my biggest nemesis at this range because I like to come here in the mornings. That way I can run drills like this. I wouldn't run this type of drill middle of the day here when other club members are here just because I don't want to be a nuisance to them. So I get here early as hell and before anybody else gets here, which was weird is because during the middle of that drill, like three cars drove past, which I've pretty much never seen. Unless it's the garbage man coming here to take out the dumpsters, I'm the only person here this early. But 
yeah, so um, the sun right around you know seven o'clock starts creeping up over here right behind these targets. And I thought I was gonna be slick by wearing these sunglasses, these Oakleys, uh, to try to defeat the sun. But the biggest problem, so Shelton, like, the targets we were shooting at, you can barely see them now, but like, when the sun's behind it, it creates that shadow. So the sunglasses aren't helping at all. It was actually hurting my ability to see that center target there in the shadow. And it's not really freshly painted or anything like that, so it's kind of difficult to see, but there was a time there like where I felt like my marksmanship was getting better because I went into this completely cold, so I missed a bunch of times in the very first round. But I started kind of um, slowing down and trying to focus on the basics. And then I was getting consistent hits, like three round hits. I'm not really sure how many rounds um, like in the workout I actually got completed. I'll have to look back in the post. I think it was like seven or eight. I really want to shoot for 10. Um, but I think if the, it wasn't for the sun or maybe the sun was actually facing the opposite way, this drill would be way easier. But overall, it went pretty good. Uh, you know, had no issues with this gun at all. You know, with its, with its ability to hit that target, it was all on me. And that last round, I thought I was getting able to squeak in a full uh, iteration. But I hit the first two, or I, I got the first two hits real fast, and then I got really cocky. So then I just started shooting, missing, 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 missing until I finally got a hit. But at that point, that very last round, I could barely see that target. It was just completely darkness. It was like, where in the shadow do I aim? But yeah, overall went pretty good. Um, I thought it wasn't, this rig actually wasn't gonna be as much of an issue as I thought it was gonna be since this thing's kind of big and I have two 762 by 39 mags. Um, you know, laying in the prone and shooting from here wasn't really an issue. Um, even, anything kind of like propped me up so I can get behind the gun more. But yeah, no issue with this rig. This is the same rig I'm gonna be using at Milsom West here soon. Um, pretty much the same exact configuration just with airsoft mags. But yeah, guys, um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I love doing these stress shoots. And if you wanna see more you know, videos like this, just let me know down in the comment section. And that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys next time.